Uber has once again changed the rules. There is a new experiment going on in some select cities in which you're now going to get paid less for using your destination filter, if at all. In this video, I'm going to share with you what those changes are, which cities are impacted, and how this can impact you dollars and cents. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you a comparison of Lyft versus Uber with regards to destination filters and who wins. Hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And oh my God, it is unbelievable what's happening here. Uber has just changed the rules with regards to the destination filter and it is not good. This is bad news. I don't see any way that you can see this as a positive for anybody, but this is what has happened. So what I'm gonna do first of all is cover the changes that were made. There were two changes. One change was for about five or six markets and then one change was for two markets. So to uh, explain the first change, I'm gonna go to some screenshots so that you can see exactly what Uber sent to drivers in those markets. So what we see here in the first screenshot, it says that uh, increased pickup times uh, on a number of trips. So they're saying that the estimated time of arrival has increased because drivers are using the destination filters. That certainly has not been my experience. I've never had any passenger tell me it took me too long to pick them up. And they've also seen lower earnings for some drivers who are not using the destination filter. Well, that's because they're not using the destination filter. Let's go to the next screenshot. So as we look at the second screenshot, it says that Uber will evenly distribute the money from these reduced rates to drivers in Charlotte who do not use the destination filter. So what that means is, if you use your destination filter and you do a good job and you make extra money, they're going to take 30% or so and give it to the drivers that aren't using the destination filter. So this is kind of like what I call Uber socialism. I mean, to take this to the most extreme, let's take everybody who worked 40 hours. Some people made a lot of money and some people made not so much money. Why don't we just take the money from the people who did well and give it to the people who didn't do well and then everybody just makes the same amount of money. Why even try? Why even try? That's the message I'm getting from Uber here. And just below that, Uber is telling us that the actual rate reduction may be higher or lower than 30%. So we won't even know what the discount is going to be until we try and use the destination filter. Here are the four markets that we know of that are impacted right now. Raleigh, Philadelphia, Chicago, and Charlotte. And there are two more markets that are dramatically impacted. I'm going to cover those next. So that was the first experiment. Experiment number two took, take, is taking place right now in New York City and in Dallas. And in these markets, they have just eliminated the destination filter. They don't have it anymore. Now, when I started, I didn't have destination filters. And it was not great at the end of the shift. I could be 30 minutes from home, I could be an hour from home. Let's say I just got a ride that took me half an hour away from my home and now I need to come back. Well, in the past you just had to what called deadhead, which means driving with no passenger. Those days are back if you're in New York or Dallas. When the destination filter came into play, you could set your home as a destination and you would get some rides on the way home. Now how is that not good for everybody? That means uh, we are creating more inventory for Uber. That means we're helping a passenger get a ride. We're helping a driver make some money on the way home. Everybody wins. Uber wins, the passenger wins, and the driver wins. What sense is it? I can't comprehend it. I just uh, That I cannot understand. How is that good for anybody? So what I want to do now is show you the impact in dollars and cents uh, of this policy. So let's say, for example, I'm in one of these markets and I'm going to look at my driving yesterday where I used the destination filter twice. So the first time I used it, I was stuck over in Oakland and I needed to get a ride back over the bridge to San Francisco. So I set up the destination filter and boom, as you can see in this screenshot, I was able to get a ride and for that ride, I made $22.18. Then at the end of my shift, I wanted to get a ride towards my home. Now my home is not far from the San Francisco airport, so I got a ride going to the San Francisco airport. And as you can see in this screenshot, I was able to make uh, $15.64. So if we add that up together, that's about $38. If we take 30% of that, that's around $11 in a day that I would have lost, uh, assuming 
Uber was taking 30% of my money. Now, if you multiply that, let's do the numbers here. If you multiply that by six days a week, you're up to about $70. And if you multiply that by 45 weeks or so, that's over $3,000 that is being taken away from me because I'm an aggressive driver and I work hard to make as much money as I can by using these destination filters. So in this section, we're gonna look at the difference between Lyft and Uber. So as you can see here in this little diagram, uh, when it comes to number of uses, we have two for Uber and we have six for Lyft. When we have whether the uh, destination filter can be throttled down, so not used, uh, Lyft, you can use it all the time. Uber, about half the time in San Francisco when I try and use it, it's not available because the network is too busy, they say. And with Lyft, you get 100% of the money. And now with Uber, if you're in one of these markets, you only get 70% of the money. So this is a huge win and a huge benefit to being a driver for Lyft. So if you're in a market where you have both options available and you have not signed up for Lyft yet, this is the time to do it because you can have all those destination filters to use and, uh, and you get 100% of your money when you use them. All right, so in summary, here's what I wanna say. If you are a driver, you need to start creating your plan B. You are not in partnership with Uber and Lyft. They are not your friends. They are not looking out for your best interest. They're looking out for the interest of their company. And we are an expense. So what you need to do is get off your ass and start figuring out what you're gonna do after Uber and after Lyft. And you need to get to work on that now because the sooner you can get on to what's next for you, the sooner you will not be distracted and your income won't be impacted by the decisions made by corporate people at Uber and at Lyft. So get to work on your plan B, start owning your future, create this future that you want, have a vision for where you're going and go towards it and uh, you'll be a much happier and content individual and you won't have to deal with this uh, BS uh, in this rideshare game. Hey, this is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. I'm inviting you to join this uh, YouTube channel. We got great content three times a week coming out and you can be notified of it every time it comes out. Um, stay up to date and be the best ride share driver that you can be. What are you waiting for? Just sign up. Y'all go ahead and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there.